But also, if you really think about the fact that we are in a world where people have to go to work, to do a job that, by the way, man, if there is a dude you need to get on this podcast and there's a book that you would love, David Graeber wrote this book called Bullshit Jobs. This guy is a fucking genius, man. And this book, Bullshit Jobs, breaks down the phenomena of uh, how many, many people are working in jobs that don't do anything for the world or the company they're working for. And it's not like this judgmental thing where he's like, yeah, that's a bullshit job. You're a blah, blah, blah. He's one of the, he's like an anthropologist, so he's very precise. But one of the qualifications for your job to be a bullshit job is you know that it's really kind of a worthless job. It's not really doing anything. And like companies have gotten so fucking big that... Uh, they they end up having like departments or people running departments or extra employees that don't really need to be there at all. And they have to pretend to be to work. That's what he writes about. He's, he, he, he writes that the, if you really want to torture a person, uh, not only give them like the job of like, you know, pouring a glass of water in an empty glass and pouring it back, but then add to it that they have to deceive their boss into thinking that they're like doing an important job or they lose their job. So these, not only are these like some corporations and companies scanning your piss to see if you're taking a substance that is allowing you to connect with home, what you actually are, they are also demanding that you spend many hours a day lying to them that you're doing work that you're not doing. Like if you're fucking efficient, you know, and this is another thing Graber writes about. Forgive me, David Graber, if in any way I misconstrue this, I read your writings stoned. But the, and, and, but the, the, um, the, the, the other fucking element to it that is absolutely atrocious and fucking horrible is that uh, these substances are connecting us to home. They don't want us to be in those states, and they're asking us to fucking lie all day. And you know what psychedelic means? The the etymology of psychedelic? No. It means mind manifesting or soul manifesting, right? So a psychedelic connects us potentially with the truth, what we are, our identity, right? And these companies, they're asking us to lie, to be the opposite of our identities, to wear weird a suit or, or some kind of dress code and to sit in a desk where because you're efficient, you get your job done in 45 minutes and for the next six hours, you got to sit and type and pretend that you're working knowing it, you're a person and knowing that this is like unethical you're but if you if you like go and tell your boss hey man i don't really have much to do you might get fired the boss might like in the book he cites one person because he did like a survey and he cites one person who went to her boss and she's like hey i can finish my job in two hours i need can i have other stuff to do and her boss is like don't talk about that stay quiet about that oh yeah, man, that's the fucking world we're in right now because of automation. There's less to do. Computers are making shit fast. It's, why are we wor we're working the exact same amount of time we were when there were no computers? But you have to be there to get paid. And you have to act like you're doing something or they can you. Yeah. So How many people right now are doing just that while they're listening to this? A lot. A lot. And, and by the if way. You, if you had a guess, <laughs> what? what percentage of people are listening right now that are really supposed to be doing some bullshit job? And they're kind of sitting in front of their keyboard with earbuds on, just barely paying attention, trying not to get caught looking at porn. Yeah. Yeah. I, probably all over the planet, over a million. Over a million in the workforce, probably. When do you think companies had to put in rules you can't look at porn at work. Like, that wasn't a thing in the 70s. It wasn't a thing in the 80s. Right. It wasn't a thing in the 90s. Right. Then all of a sudden, you could just find porn online. 
and people, well, they have a work computer that's hooked up to the internet. Like, when did companies start going, oh, yeah, we didn't know about that. Yeah, you can't look at that. Dude, it, I mean, I'm sure it started with, like, Penthouse, right? Like, you, when, when they had Penthouse, like, Penthouse Magazine, like, when you had fucking, like, you know. Yeah, for sure. You, for couldn't, sure. Bring your, with you couldn't bring your Penthouse, your fucking hustler to work. That's true, but the but looking at something online is so much easier than going to the store and getting a hustler like the access is universal You're instantaneous everyone has the the ability to just go and download it you know if we're going to like ask questions that are impossible to answer like how many people right now do you think listening to the podcast or in their bullshit job jerking off the porn <laughs> while they listen at least one dude yeah <laughs> 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 For sure, that's what dudes do. Yeah, I mean, because they can get away with it, they jerk off. Especially a guy with a bad job who could find a way to jerk off somewhere. Yeah, just let me just get five minutes in this bathroom and jerk off. Just so sure. I don't have to think about this stupid fucking job. Dude, come on, like that's I, like sexual assault. I don't think jerking it, off in an office. Not in the. What if you scream? If and like, everyone knows, you're gonna go like, hey, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna jerk off, and when I come, I scream. That's sexual assault. Oh, for well, that is. <laughs> I fucking feel like suing you right now, man. That's 